Yes, sir. It's me. It's Raj Dollar back. And it's been like a good three or four months, but I finally got to say I'm back. Uh, I said, I made a community post that I was going to talk about a little bit of what happened. But I ain't trying to have you here for like hella long. So we can make this a little bit of a short story. And a little bit of celebration because I'm back for the next 2K and ready to give y'all the best golden fictional draft classes. But we're going to get in a little of that later on. But I just had a lot of stuff kind of going on in personal life. Uh, stopped doing my podcast for a little bit too. You know, st stuff happened. Stuff happened with that. And also, I was also like looking against this like Salesforce and get like an IT job. Ended up like not passing the test, but I didn't like really like mess with it. So I just needed to take a little step back. Also during that time, I got a new job and I started working way more. So I just didn't have the time to like really out allocate like I did. And, and I, I'm not going to lie, I kind of got like a little bit discouraged because I felt like I wasn't going to be able to give y'all my best work. So I kind of took a little bit of a step back. At the time, I was kind of feeling burnt out as well. And just going through other stuff in personal life. And I just needed to take a step back. And also, like, with 2K, I kind of got, like... The last video I made, I think it was supposed to be a rookie and sophomore... Um, the rookie sophomore game. And then what happened was, it ended up getting deleted. And it really got me tight. And it was one of the best games that I probably, like... One of the best games I probably played in 2K23. So I tried like replaying it again, but like it just wasn't feeling right. So I'm like, all right, that's when I like first knew I was gonna take like a little bit of a break, but I didn't know for how long. And I just knew like I just wanna take like a little bit of time to like reset and I also just didn't have like the amount of time I could really put in and lock in like I wanted to. So I just like in my head, I'm like, all right, I'm gonna take a little step back. I know once if I get the urge to like really get back to it, that's how I, like I know like it's time. And it was there was many times I'm like, damn, I should get back to it, but I'm not gonna lie, like I, I felt like I lost it. I felt like I lost it a little. But it was like every every couple weeks or something, I see a comment or even like people hit me on Xbox like like oh yo when you coming back or something like that like draft classes is fire. I'm like damn like. When I get compliments like that, like I really appreciate that. I, you know, I feel the love. I feel the love, and I wanted it like I just want to make the best draft classes so everybody could really enjoy it. And also another side note, 2K better add. Um, they haven't like really announced it yet, but 2K share has to be cross gen as well. Like you could, you should think like it, it should be automatic, but you know how 2K be. So hopefully cross gen. It's in 2K24, so everybody from PS4 could uh, enjoy this because I'm really trying to turn this up. Like, I'm trying to top at 2K23, and I, I forgot we was on the menu right now. But, dog, I couldn't I couldn't bring myself to not finish out the rest of the season of the Golden Fictional League just because I wasn't recording for you. I'm not going to lie. I didn't even touch this. Like, I'm not going to lie to you. I didn't touch this. Like, it's crazy. I was enjoying it, too, but... Damn. I'm mad at myself for not finishing. I'm not even gonna lie. I couldn't bring myself to touch it. But, like, in the other leagues, I could just show y'all while I'm just chit-chatting a little bit. In the actual goaded league, the goaded era, I went through that because that's what I usually do before I was, like, really uploading. Uh, send through that a lot, but that also takes up like a lot of time like the way I do it I control all 30 teams Then I'll also edit like the tendencies for everybody for each team to make it make like make stuff make sense But the one thing like in 2k that just pisses me off how everybody shoots 50 40 90 if they nice but I could go through some of like the um, awards and stuff the league history to show y'all what really happened in some of these guys career and one guy who was really him I'll say who is the best guy of this era is Reggie Mack. Has four MVP awards. I'm over it. Damn. I, I guess I kind of went through that whole story about, like, why, why I disappeared. But just getting back into it, I'm going to show you a little bit. Talk about a little bit what happened in the league. Um, yeah, Reggie Mack was the top dog. Top dog, four MVP awards. 
and ended up winning five championships, seven finals, seven finals appearances, made it in the second year against uh, Kawhi Leonard and the Clippers. Yeah, they made it to the finals. And Kawhi, I'm not going to lie, Kawhi and PG went stupid in that series. Reggie Mack did his thing. He didn't get locked up. He wasn't in hell in a cell. He did his thing, but they went stupid. And next year, Deep Book got a chip. And Reggie Mack ran off three straight. Nah. <laughs> three straight. Won it in his, was it fourth year? Because he came in, I think. Damn, was it his first year he made it to the finals? Now we got to double check that. I think 2K did some nuts stuff. All right, yeah. So his first year, he made it to the finals with the Knicks. That's insane. That's insane. And then, then in his third year, started a three-peat quest. Jalen Brunson won finals MVP. Bro, he went stupid. He averaged 35 in that series. I vividly remember it. I think Reggie Mack almost had averaged like a triple-double. But Jalen Brunson just went nuclear in that series. Rich Mack got his chip. Um, and then it was the Tyson Cambridge era. Top three. He is top three probably in the era. Out of like all the guys that I made. Rich Mack is for sure second. I could show you his stats. He is insane. But... For the next 2K, for sure, I don't, I'm not sure if I'm going to give you this, um, the golden era again, because if I don't have time, I'll probably just try and really do the golden fictional leaf for everybody. But if I could figure out a way, like how I could get through multiple seasons and stuff, because like the way I do it, maybe I could live stream it. That could be a, that could be a way, but I'm not... I'm not 100% sure, depending on like my schedule and stuff. But Rich Mack, there was only one year where he didn't average 30. And one thing I hate about 2K is the fake stats. They need to get rid of this. If they ain't fix this for the next 2K, that's really good. That's one thing that just gets me tight about 2K. And also, like in the, my NBA stuff, they really didn't add too much. Other than like the LeBron era and the cba the new cba which is obvious like why wouldn't they add that in the next 2k if it's updated and i don't even think they said anything about the end season tournament other than that i don't even think they added anything like 2k light which really like come on it's disappointing but like you just i was expecting disappointment that's how i always feel like every year going into into 2k but all due respect not all due respect 2K has the best uh, franchise mode, but that's not really saying anything like across like other game modes. I mean, other franchises like NFL, Madden, EA. I hate EA. I just stop. I stop playing their games. I can't support EA. Like I'm not I'm gonna lie. Like the old Madden's is really like Madden 06. Like the PS2 Madden's is five times better than than the Madden that they put out now. And I feel like it's just disrespectful. So I don't even, like, waste my time to play that. I think the last Madden I actually had bought, I don't even think I bought it. It probably came like, when I got, got Max, so I was, like, 16. Because the franchise mode was terrible. But 2K, I'll give it to them. They have a great franchise mode. But there's a lot of stuff that they just haven't improved upon. A lot of stuff they haven't improved upon. But shout out to them for, I guess, adding, like, the errors and stuff. But I feel like the one thing... That's the only that's the only selling point, but I feel like they could have added more. But they were like, "Oh, we added a LeBron there. Look what we did," and didn't fix anything. Like, is the logic could be better? Trade logic? Is the player progression could be better? Like, come on, like it's changing teams. I mean, not changing teams. The team relocation, like the whole thing's been the same since it came out. Like, there's a lot of stuff. Like, is coaching? Does coaching really even work? Like this whole my staff stuff. Like, I went through multiple seasons, and I really just, like, you can't tell. You still can't tell coaching really has an impact on the game. Especially, when, like, one simulating. Some of the dumb stuff happened to simulating. Um, eight, a lot of AFC still uh, losing. 3-1 comebacks a lot. Everybody's showing 50, 40, 90 is one of my biggest gripes that I really hate. But I'm just going on a little rain on 2K, but I'm not going to lie. The next golden fictional. Oh, Oh, I'm about to get in my bag. Because the one thing I really like with 2K added is the pro play. The pro play, like, that that really just makes me get more creative. And, like, the players are way more unique. 
than like I feel like ever than I create in 2K. And that's I feel like overall the gameplay, like the five and five gameplay, I, I pretty much like in 2K. Some things that they could do, but I think overall, like since like next gen, I think it's been like the best gameplay in 2K. But I know others may disagree. But I don't play them. I don't play my career and all that. I retired in 2K20. I'm not gonna lie. But I'm about to go crazy with it. Like y'all thought y'all thought this was hard. I gotta turn it up. I gotta turn it up, and I gotta make it up to y'all too for uh, going on a little bit of my hiatus. I'm about to get in my bag in the next 2K. Hopefully they add more uh, facial hair and hairstyles for players, but the pro play, that's what's really gonna take us to the next level. And I already been locking in on like the play, um, the players I've been making. I basically finished like all 300 of the players. I think it's 75 in each class. 75 in each class and I gave them all their shades of. I'm probably not gonna have the time that I had last year to put them in college. So I'm gonna just have to do the stats on my own. But I'm just giving y'all some of my ideas, just chatting right now. Other things I, I wish 2K also added, cause I wrote down a couple of stuff, but I didn't even pull it up till now. Other things I want 2K to add, uh, I hope the presentation is better, more advanced stats, like playoff atmosphere, um yeah i was just talking before about the free agent logic and all that um custom all-star you could customize the all-star game arena and all that because i'm tired of it being the same thing every year and oh this is one thing i'll be able to choose like the christmas day games or they have like a smart way of choosing it where like the best teams play each other or on opening night the team that won a championship that's their first game of the season. Like, I feel like that should happen, but it doesn't for whatever reason. And, like, so I think last time I played, I think the last champion was, like, the Nets with Rich Mack. They had a role game. Like, the their first game was a role game on, like, the fourth day of the season. Like, what are we doing? They should either be playing, like, how it usually is. They usually play whoever is the second best team or who they played in the conference finals. Like, this year, the Nuggets play the Lakers. Or, like, just add marquee matchups for Christmas Day and open night. And I guess MLK Day, too. And I'm going to just leave y'all off with that. I don't want to really wanna get too much in my wish list. Because if my NBA is the same, I might have to put it out early so 2K could fix it. For the next... Well, I'm talking about they about to fix it. They not about to fix it. But I just got to... I got to talk my talk. And we could go through some of the MVPs before I dip out in this video. I didn't have a real structure to it, but I just needed to let y'all know, man, what happened. And I'm ready. I'm back. I got the urge back. I got the itch back. And I'm ready to be great. Be golden. It's your boy, Rash Dollar. As always, stay safe. Be great. And I'll see y'all in the next one. I'm out.